this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. with Finn Balor, and who knows when it'll stop. Well, on the topic of Randy Orton here, tell us your thoughts. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one environment. That's a good sign. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. There's not much Finn Balor can't do in that ring. From high flying to quick kicks to submission wrestling. Let's face it, this kid can do it all. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. Well, King he did it again. As you mentioned earlier, there's not much that Finn Balor can't do in the ring. And You'd have to think that comes from years of traveling the globe, learning different styles and different ways to beat your opponent. What is he, 100 years old? He's absorbed all those different styles and molded them into his own unique style? There really is nobody else quite like Finn Balor. The kid's going far in this business. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Uh-oh. I think that really hurt his arm. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. I'm not sure I can watch this. Another incredible battle of Randy Orton's was when he squared off against Batista in a steel cage for the WWE Championship. The match against the former Evolution members took place at Extreme Rules, and believe me, it was brutal. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Quick thinking to avoid that. Randy Orton has found an answer here. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Reversal by Orton. This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Jerry, you mentioned when Randy Orton and Batista met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. You and I called that match at the 2009 Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And there were several times we just looked at each other in awe at the brutality Orton and Batista put one another through. It was a battle of two animals. Oh, you're right about that. Orton and Batista's match at 2009's Extreme Rules was a brutal event. And I'll tell you why. Orton and Batista started out together in the Supergroup Evolution. They parted ways and have despised one another ever since. Whether it's for the WWE Championship or because one wants to remove the other from the WWE, their matches are pure brutality. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Never have so few inches seen so far away. He's wasting little time here, trying to bring down the prize. Say what you will about Randy Orton, and most people have plenty to say, but there can be no doubt that he is one of the most ruthless performers in WWE. Oh, forget about Randy. What a win! Man, he's got to feel great.